Hey, how are you going? Uh, I'm just going to show you a track by Owen today. It's a new single of his that's just come out. Um, and yeah, just had to figure out the tuning and stuff. So it's probably not exactly how he plays it, but it sounds pretty close. Um, so it's capoed on the second fret, but without the capo, tune it to E, B, E, F sharp, B, E. That's low to high. So with the capo, you get F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. Um, so there's one main rhythm guitar, and then there's a couple of small lead lines that come in over the top of this. Um, a few different sections, um, but yeah, I'll just play through them, talk through them, and yeah, we'll go from there. So, the first section. Um, so a couple of chords, and because we've got this open tuning, we're strumming all the strings. Um, so it starts off fretting um, the third string, second fret, and strumming everything. Then the second chord is second fret on the fifth string, and third fret on the third string. Again, strumming everything. So you've got, and just transitioning between these chords, you sort of play everything open, unfretted for one strum. Um, so you sort of hear that. Um, then the third chord, we just move that second chord over two frets. So you've got four on the fifth string and fifth fret on the third string. Um, so you've got Then you play the first chord again Then the second chord And then you do the same third chord except you only move the fifth string note over and you play that third string open so you've got open, fourth fret, and then the top four strings all open. And then you just loop this around. So that's the verse guitar uh, for this song, and this comes up um, at several different points in the track. Uh, then about 36 seconds in, you've got this kind of small bit of the chorus, which I'll just call the pre-chorus. Um, so it's this. Um, so we're just fretting a bass note on the sixth string here and strumming everything open again. So fourth fret from the capo, strumming everything, and then just move it over to the fifth fret. Um, so I'll just call that the pre-chorus. Um, but we've got the chorus that comes in at 52 seconds, and it's got very similar, just moving a bass note around um, with all the open strings. Um, so the chorus is this. Um, so again, we're just moving one bass note around on the sixth string. Um, so similar to the pre-chorus, it goes four to five. And repeat that. 
going to go up to the ninth fret from the capo. Back to five. Four, five. And then finish on the seventh fret. On that sixth string. Um, so this repeats a couple of times, and there's a couple of small lead lines uh, over the top of the chorus. Um, so the first of these is this. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many times it does that. Uh, it repeats until it does the, that. But I know that that bit comes in uh, just after the other lead line, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, so this one, first string, fourth fret from the capo, second string, seventh fret from the capo, and then fifth fret from the capo on that second string. Um, and then it's the same thing. We just play seventh fret on the first string uh, for that little alternate um, line. Um, so this repeats throughout the chorus, and there's also another line, um, which is this. <clears throat> um, so we play the open first string, then fourth fret second string, and it's nice to sort of play them together back to the first string, so you get that sort of harshness. So open first, fourth fret, second string, open first again, and then uh, open second string and second fret on the third string. So you get um, and what I was saying before about the that bit, that comes in just after you hear this. Um, this bit only plays maybe twice per chorus. Um, so it's a good sort of guide mark for that first, that little section there. Um, so I think that's, that's pretty much it until about 2 minutes 26. Uh, in the track when it sort of goes to this long bridge section um, which is this Finger picks. I've been strumming uh, without a pick, by the way, um, except for those small lead lines in the chorus. Um, so this bridge section. Um, so fifth fret, sec sorry, fifth string, second fret. Open fourth string, second fret on the third string, and then open second string and hammer on to the 4th fret and then open 1st string so play that 3 times and then just take your 1st finger off so you've got the 5th fret open and just play that once so you have And then uh, moving up to the uh, fifth fret from the capo, um, sixth string, open D string, sorry, fourth fourth string, then third string, fifth fret, pull that off to open. And then 4th string, 4th fret, and then open 2nd string, and 
then, so we repeat this, except the last note, which is now, instead of the second string, open first string. Um, then the third chord, same first four notes, but then play open fourth string instead of fretting it, just so you can use your first finger to fret, uh, fourth fret on the second string. So, so far you've got and then it's the same um, as the first little bit of this chord. So, fifth fret, open fourth string, fifth fret on the third string, pull off to open, fourth fret on the fourth string, and then open second string. So I'll just play it through again slowly. So this, this goes till about 3 minutes 20 in the track. And then there's just the bottom five strings open. So just don't play the first string. Um, just a chord that happens at, yeah, 3, 320. Um, then it goes to that pre-chorus again, but it just doubles in length. Um, so just the... chorus kicks in and it just plays through the chorus um, this chorus the only difference is um, that seventh fret from the capo on the sixth string isn't played um, it just keeps going between four five and nine Then there's just the outro to go, which comes in at 4 minutes 35, which is this. So, same first chord that we use in the verse. So, open 6, 5, and 4th strings, fretting the 2nd fret uh, on the 3rd string, and then the top 2 strings are open. And we reach out 4th fret on the 2nd string. Um, so, you've got... moves to this chord, um, which is the same second chord as in the verse, but this time um, we've got this fourth fret on the first string. And then we hammer on the open low string to the second fret, just twice at the end of this, playing this chord. Um, so the second chord. And you repeat. One thing I did forget to mention, just because my notes are a bit all over the joint, 
um, just in the at one minute twelve, just after the first chorus, you hear um, a guitar just doing this. which is just open first string and then fourth fret on the second string, bending that up to the pitch of the first string, the open first string and back down. We just sort of make that bend slow. Um, but yeah, that's all the parts to this song. Uh, thanks for the recommendation um, who for the person who requested it. Um, it's a really cool track. Um, Anyway, hope you have fun with that one, and yeah, I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.